All right, so that was the first one, how we create an app using the template, um, a, tab, a tabbed uh, app using the template. What about if we want us to create, we have already an existing tab uh, app, and we want to add tab items to it, or you want to create one from the uh, scratch. What we're going to do, and I will cover the tab items here. I didn't cover them in the first one, but I'll cover the tab items in here in more details, okay? What we're going to do, we're going to create new, the uh, project and then I'm going to create a single view app next I'm going to say tab bar app. okay two and then we click on next and click create now everything is fine I have that view controller I have the storyboard and I have the uh, launch the screen. Okay, I'm gonna change the. Uh, we're gonna change the. Uh, we are not going to use the auto size. Okay, just for so you can see it better on the screen. For now, okay. Now, what we're going to do? Sometimes you have an application where you want to have multiple screens, and at the bottom of that screen you have different tabs. All right, and in here, well. There is a tool here that called tab bar item, okay, tab bar controller, okay, and then you can drag it into your screen and then you can connect them, okay. This is one way to do it. An easier way to do it, let's say you select a view controller, let's say we have a screen here already, okay. Uh, this is the screen that came with the application, okay, and this screen, as we were talking about, is connected to this view controller. Okay, what you can do, you can say, select that screen, the, that view controller, and in the editor, in the Xcode menu above, there is an editor. In the editor, we say, embed in the tab bar controller. So now, it added this tab bar con controller, and it did the connections to me, for me. So what do you do here? You can add another view controller if you want, because one having a tab controller with one screen doesn't make a difference. So what do you do? You add another view controller. So I have two now. Okay. And let me zoom out. So we have two view controllers, this and this. Okay. And I am going to connect this tab view controller, tab bar view controller to this screen. And I select the view controller. All right. So this is my first screen, this is my second screen. All right, let's just make them a little bit, they look a little bit different. Okay, so this is the view. I'm gonna select this view, and I'm gonna select, make it look, the, uh, change the background to something different, okay? And then this, select a different background, maybe something lighter, okay, like this. Now, of course, you can. This is a view controller. You can add anything that you want on it. You can add the. Uh, you can add the uh, buttons. You can add labels. You can add tables. You can add whatever you want. Okay. You can add, and just to show you, we can add the label here. It says this label says, oh, let's make it bigger. Okay, and center it. And this would be, which one? This would be. The first one, right? So I'm going to say view one. The, uh, view controller one. Okay. All right. And this would be, I'm going to copy this. Copy, copy, and then compare, paste it here. And then we do view controller two. Okay. Just this for the look. Now, here, you have, you can change the title that appear in here in the view controller. You can have the tab tab control uh, tab bar controller. So you can have uh, different icons and different titles based on what what you want, what what you customize. So the view controller, the tab bar contains multiple view control controllers. Okay, and then here what you have, you have. You can select the item, system item. There are already preset items, okay? So you can say, I want 
more, for example. Notice it, I changes the icon, or I can select uh, favorites. Okay, so it will be different icon. You can select recent, so you can select different icon. And you can do what? You can, for example, so now in here, you notice it's, it's different. Of course, you can change your own. Maybe you don't want to say recent and item. If you want to change the title, so you can change the title to say uh, page, uh, page one, for example, okay? So now it says in page one. You can change the icon. Now there are different icon sizes. You have to select uh, what are what's Apple standards, but if you will search for tab bar items, I think I already selected it. If you search for tab bar icons, image sizes, it'll tell you, this table tells you what are the different sizes. Uh, this is the link, developer, com, library, iOS. You can do that or just search for icon and image sizes, sizes for iOS and you will get this link. It is in the human, iOS human interface guide. Okay, you can get that from there. And it'll tell you what is the icon should be for different parts of your app, your app launch, uh, your app icon for the app store, launch, uh, launch file for the image and so forth. But what we are interested in is this one here, tab bar icons. Okay, so the, it's about 50 by 50 or the 20, for, it depends on the device that you're running it on. iPad mini, this is the size, iPhone 6 and iPhone 4 as they're about the same sizes, okay, 40, um, 50 by 50. So to get to do that, you can, I have already some icons. I'm going to drag them into here to show you. Uh, all right. I have some icons. So what I'm going to do is I drag one icon. And I, I, I tested with 50. It seems like it didn't fit in the storyboard. So I'm using the 32 by 32. So I'm going to drag it and drop it in here. Okay. And make sure copy it. And uh, we copy this, finish. Okay. Now this is my the icon that I have. It's very small. And uh, you can do now, instead of saying, page, we can say baby screen, okay, baby, okay. And now the image, I can select it's baby. Okay, so that's what you see, here's how you see the image icon is set to baby now. Now, if you run it, you'll notice that I have two screens. This is one, this is two, and so forth. Okay, close, all right. All right, uh, so that is for the UI. How about the classes that are associated with it? So what do we do about the classes? How do you do it? You, same way that we do, uh, we did the single view controller. So this view controller here, first one, right now, if we take a look at the identity inspector, this view controller, the class for this is the UI view controller. So if I click on the code assist for this, you'll see the UI view controller, which is this one, view controller. So if I do all the outlet, the stuff that we usually do, it'll be what? It will go to that class. So if I do this, I'll be L1, and then I click on this. Now I create an IB outlet related to that view controller. Now, if I go to the second one, it'd be a different story. There is no class that you are actually using the UI view controller that comes with Xcode. We don't want that. We want our own custom class. So what do I do here? What, what we need to do, we need to create a new uh, view, uh, UI view controller and then point this one to it. How uh, we do it, we do file, new, uh, file, and then you have Coca Touch class. Hit next, and then give it a name, view control, second view controller. Okay. 
make sure that this is a subclass of view controller, UI view controller. If you don't do that, if you make it a different class, for example, if you just make it an object, you will not be able to tie them together. Okay, so you need to make sure that you're actually subclassing UI view controller. And then you click on next, create. And now I've created a second view controller, but it actually renamed the whole thing. Okay, it added the view controller for me. Second view controller. This is the long name of it. And what do we do here? We need to go back to the storyboard and say, wait a minute, this second view controller is actually linked to this second view controller we just added. All right. Now, if you click on the code assist, you'll see that the one that uh, we just created is the actual one, okay, related, uh, linked to it. So if I, I can do what with this, I can do the same thing I've done with the other one. I can link this label with this. Label one. Okay, so now we have two view controllers. one and two and you can do the same thing with you can do the same thing with the uh, that we used to do with a single view so you can do everything with I mean each screen will be a separate screen you can customize it you can add logic to it you can add logic to the programs you can add the, the label uh, buttons all the stuff that you can do with a single view now you can do it here the only thing that this tab view controller is doing for you is actually managing the switching between the different screens, okay? The rest is the same, all right? Uh, this is how we create a tab view, multi an app with multiple screen using the tab view controller. All right, hope to see you on the next video.